Hello, in this video we are going to learn how to use the count if function in Excel. So for count if function we have prepared two separate examples. So let's start with the first one. Okay, we have a we have a table stating the names and their genders, the boys and the girls, and it asks us to find the number of boys and number of girls. We are going to use the count if function. You may remember a similar case from video 4, the average uh, function video, but this case is a bit more complicated. These are not ordered, so uh, think it like we have hundreds of uh, data like this. If we use the count if, if, it will make it easy to find out the result. So let's write the count if function. Okay, count if function asks you two parameters. It first asks you your range and then it's going to ask the criteria. So our range is here because we want to check if this person is a boy or a girl. And our criteria is first boy. I am putting it in quotation marks because these are texts and it's going to compare it like this. And I close my function add and number of boys are 10. And similarly, we are going to write the same function for girl. And let's choose our criteria range. And let's write our criteria. And this is the number of girls are 8. So we have a total of 18 students of per people here. Okay, in the second example, it asks of us to how many numbers here in this region are greater than zero. We are going to use the count if function, but criteria can be a bit more complicated here. So we'll see now. Let's write our count if function and let's select our range. And our criteria is we cannot write criteria like this bigger than zero it will be and in order to write the criteria we have to put it in quotation marks like this so we have 33 numbers which are greater than zero so let's submit our answer okay in the next video we are going to learn how to use the sum if function so keep following